what, uh, what made you decide to come to Texas? Well, I think the most important thing is the, uh, the, the, the inspiration that I got from the live audience. I was missing that. Nice, so I like it, boy. Fred Las Vegas. What uh, what made you decide to come to Texas? Oh well, <coughs> you know, to, to tell you the truth, I started out here in Texas. I I think the the the, uh, the first shows that I worked was down here, man, around Houston. Remember what location you worked here in Texas? Well, I worked uh, I worked Houston. I worked. Uh, Corpus Christi. I, I have a little town here, Longview, man, you, you name it, I've been there. No, really, I've been all over Texas. What do you think of Texas? <laughs> I like it. I like it. Elvis, can you give Enjoy. us uh, uh, understand with all the big uh, engagements like Las Vegas, etc., the reason why you selected the livestock show and rodeo this year? Well, uh, the... Uh, they asked me to do it, and I was anxious to do some live appearances. You know, I haven't, it's been a long time since I've been on stage in front of anybody live. And uh, I was anxious to do some live appearances, and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to get in front of the people. Have you ever seen the inside of a drone before? Never have. It scares them. <laughs> it's a big place, man, you know. You've been known in the past as a king of rock and roll. Do you think your style has changed now from uh, the days of King, or do you consider that still your style? Uh, well, I think the overall thing has improved. Uh, the overall sound's improved, I mean. But I think it, uh, it's, it's according to the songs. It's according to the songs. Is your stage pre presentation still the same way it was, or have you improved on that? I, well, I just do whatever I feel on stage. As I always did that. Hope to. <laughs> well, uh, I like to make better films and that kind of made before. Well, better than the ones I made before. <coughs> Excuse me, I can take his fresh air, man. I'm used to the back, the garbage can at the uh, International Hotel, man. <laughs> if I can't smell some garbage, I don't feel at home, man. I'll tell you. <laughs> No, there's nothing in, as far as I know of, is it, Colonel? Anything in the workings? I can't commit to myself. An 8 millimeter <laughs> Walt Disney special we're doing next year, I think. I don't know. <laughs> it, there's nothing as far as I know. When you look at your opportunity to go and try to fill up the Astrodome. Well, it, it'll be the type of stuff that I do. It's a mixture of things, you know. It's it's uh, a little rock and a little country western. 
Yeah, it's the same type of thing. A lot of different type of songs. So I, I just hope I can put on a good show, man. What happened to the Jordan Mayors? I can't get them out of Nashville, man. They they got stuck in Nashville, and uh, <laughs> you know they make so much money, and they they do they they do so well in Nashville, you you can't get them out of there. Do you have any thoughts about the rising interest in country music? I think it's fantastic. You see, country music was always a part of the of the influence on my on my type of music anyway. It's a combination of of uh, country music and gospel and rhythm and blues all combined is what it really, really was. As a child, I was influenced by all of that. Do you consider yourself basically a country music singer? Uh, I would hate to say strictly country because of the fact that uh, I liked all different types of music when I was a child. You know, Of course, the Grand Ole Opry was the first thing I ever heard, probably. But I liked the blues and I liked uh, the, the uh, gospel music. Gospel quartets and all that. Did you ever pull out any of those old records from the Sun label and listen to them at all? <laughs> <laughs> they sound funny. <laughs> they got a lot of echo on them, man, I'll tell you. Uh, <clears throat> but that's what I mean. I, I think the overall sound has improved today, you know. Well, do you think there's more gimmicks today than there was, uh, say, 15 years ago? There's probably more gimmicks, but I think that uh, I think that the, the engineers have improved. And I think that the techniques have improved. The overall recording. Consideration a, a further reevaluation of your career to get you back in front of live audiences again. In other words, you you are, you are available to the public only in films. Yeah. For a long period of time. And well, I think the most important thing is the uh, the 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 inspiration that I got from a live audience. I was missing that, and I didn't. It was always tough, but I, I enjoyed it. I, I just, yeah, I enjoyed it. Like I, I, I know I'm going to enjoy it here because it's just, it's just, it's live audience and it makes a world of difference. Let me ask you one thing. Where's your father up to? He's ringing somewhere. Ask him. I don't know. Daddy, what are you up to? Miss <laughs> Presley. Elvis, uh, I'll Elvis's father, Mr. Vernon Presley. Could you come right in and sit down? Lord, <laughs> <laughs> don't sign nothing. Well, that's <laughs> 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 Can you, I can't write. I never <coughs> it. It's just fresh air, man. Isn't it? Uh, Elvis, there's quite an evidence of sartorial splendor. Uh, does this indicate that the... Uh, no, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> the attire is not one uh, that we are familiar with seeing. It's a... It was taken from a karate suit, just a regular karate type outfit. Are they coming to get me? Is that it? <laughs> I mean, does this indicate that uh, with your type of dress and everything now that you're changing a little bit of style, perhaps uh, in deference to what you did a few years ago? I, I don't. I don't know. I. I, I I think that you that you'd have to see the show. You know, it's difficult to tell. I. I, I don't feel any different. You know. Uh, I don't think the dress has much to do with it. I, I got the idea from a karate suit because I studied karate for a long time, and uh, I had to make up a couple of suits like. What do you do for relaxation? You said you studied karate. karate. <laughs> <laughs> if you can relax doing this, I don't know. No, I I, uh, I, I read a lot and uh, go horseback riding and stuff like that. Do you still live principally in uh... Memphis? <laughs> About half the time. Yeah, half the time. Half the time in L.A. The show you have planned for the dome, you plan any of the old, old songs, some of the first ones? I'd like to, I, you know. Any special ones? A couple of them. Not if it works. <laughs> How big is your band with you, Elvis? I got my Elvis, it's, it's good, good to see you. I got like right it. Out. Out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Elvis, let me, let me pin this on. This is your official badge. And we got another one. Didn't want to put your name on the night that people didn't know who you were, but we were afraid they'd be trying to take it off for a souvenir. We want to pin that on you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, it's a real pleasure to have you down here when you start. Thank you, sir. We think we're going to set all kinds of records down here. I hope so. I, I hope I can give them a good show. That's the most important thing. You will. You, no question you about will. that. You sure will. If I can give them a good show, then I feel like I've done something. You What's will. the biggest live that. crowd you've ever performed for? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was uh, in Vancouver, Canada, when it Colonel? Cotton Bowl. The Cotton Bowl in Dallas. Our, uh, it was about uh, 
Or 25,000 right here, something like that. Well, I, I think so. If it's the right type of, of song, I think so. It's, it's, it's the right type of material. So I, I, yes, I have. I did like in the ghetto and uh, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't like to do all that type of stuff, you know. Well, in, in other words, I wouldn't like for everything to be a message because I think that there's still entertainment to be, you know, uh, considered.